Hi there, the first thing we will do is to create a MySQL database. Let's call it Project Manager. Then we open up the BVAD3 storybook, and create a new project. We set the database name to be Project Manager, based on the MySQL database we created. We click Save. Next, we create a model, which is a table to store our records. Let's call this Project Types. It will have three fields, ID, name and color. We set this as the starting page of our web app. For now, let's leave the rest as is, and click Save. Let's open the model in grid view, so that we can update it quickly. We will add a color field, let's click the Add button and type in the field name. We do not want to show the primary key, so let's uncheck these. We set the name and color as required fields. We also change the data table elements for them. We then set the element locations on the form. These don't have any foreign table links, so we leave this section blank. There are also no custom key values to use, so we also ignore this. For now, we are not computing any totals or colors, so we also leave this. We have refreshed our tree view, the model has all the fields we have defined. We can click on edit, just to have a preview of how the form will look like. Clicking the PHP button will generate the PHP class for the model, for now we won't use this. Let's click the convert to page button. This creates our view based on the model. Our view has been created, we are ready to build our app and run it. We click the Build App button. This generates all the low code that will enable us to run our first CRUD web app. The process is complete, and in a few seconds, the B4J project will be opened, we just need to bring it to the forefront. All we have to do now is just run the project, this will compile it and open our browser. We press F5 to start the compilation. We will just fast forward the compilation for this video. The browser then shows our app. Let's perform some CRUD functions. We click Add to create new records. 
We type the project type and color and click save and continue adding more records. This time, we want to update an existing record, let's open the menu and click Edit. To delete, let's open up delete for the record we need to delete and then delete it. This then concludes our first low-code CRUD web app.